How did we get here? Well, let's go over it. May 29th, Aaron Ong went to the Pullman Police Department to pick up his daughter, Saraya Ong Harmon. That's where Samara and Aaron would meet to do the exchange. They had a 50-50 custody agreement. Aaron lives in Moscow, Idaho. Samara lives in Pullman, Washington. So Aaron was supposed to return Saraya Ong Harmon to her mom on June the 3rd at that same police department in Pullman. That didn't happen. Aaron never showed up and the police let Samara know they were missing. Now, Samara hasn't seen Saraya since May 29th when she handed her off to her father. Nadia Cole is the fiance of Aaron Ong and she also is missing as of May 29th. She walked out of the airport that she was at with her family, getting ready to board a plane to Italy for a graduation trip that had been planned for over a year. She left her family in that airport and just walked straight out with none of her stuff and was reported missing by her family. Now we have three people missing and it is believed that they have crossed over the Mexican border as a vehicle that is registered to the Ong family was seen crossing the border. On July the 9th, the world found out these three had been found, but the stories were, but the stories coming out were all conflicting. Nadia's parents put out a statement saying she was deported on July the 4th, but the day we're hearing about this is July the 9th, five days later, and Aaron Ong was just deported last night, which is the 8th of July. So how did Nadia get deported on the 4th and Aaron and Soraya didn't? Do we even know now? I don't know, but we'll go through some of the stories that have come out. Nadia's family put out a statement that I went over and you can check that out if you want to, but they pretty much said Nadia was deported back to the United States and handed off to her parents. And now she's at a private location recovering from the entire ordeal. Now, my question is, why isn't she arrested? I would think she would have been arrested. And if you know why she wasn't, let us all know. Aaron Ong sits in Arizona waiting to be deported. Now, Aaron Ong was deported to Arizona and is waiting to be extradited back to Washington. It seems he has waived his extradition and now Washington needs to come up with a way to get him back there. There's a guy by the name of Martin Sabalas that turned Aaron Ong in. We'll just take a listen to what he had to say about the whole situation and how it went down. But I still, I still have questions about how did Nadia get caught on the 4th and Aaron and Soraya didn't? And did Martin Sabalas ever see Nadia? That's it for now. So take a listen and see what you think. It was something that just told me, you know, you have to do something because of the little girl. That's what, what was more in my mind the baby so when i saw this and 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 things started tickling me telling me that i had to do something that's where when i reacted the bio says last wednesday aaron parked near his house in nogales mexico you see him in soraya captured on this doorbell camera i saw him getting off the car with with uh baby soraya Ceballos asking Ung where he was from he said mumbling and then then like it took him for a while to answer me he said um from washington the bio says Ung asked where he could find political asylum that raised a red flag so i said what the hell i mean it's just my mind just kept rolling. The bio's calling his daughter, who lives in Tucson, Arizona, with a description of his car. She looked into it and found this missing child poster. And we went all the way downtown to the one of the main stations of the police. And he said, okay, let's go. We're going to arrest him right now. Ung being arrested by Mexican police, he was deported back to the U.S., where he's now sitting in a Santa Cruz County Detention Center in Arizona. Yeah, I felt very good. I told her I'm, I'm, I feel relieved. I'm just happy that, that I did something for somebody. Something else that stood out to me was that Aaron Ong asked Martine where he could find a political asylum. I had to look that up to even see what it was. So here's what that means. Under US law, people who flee their countries because they fear persecution can apply for asylum. As of right now, while I record this video, Soraya Ong Harmon is back with her mother, Samara Harmon. Aaron Ong is still in Arizona, waiting to get back to Whitman County. And Nadia Cole is at a private location recovering. So tell me what you think about this entire ordeal. What do you think? Now, I did hear that the most, the most time Aaron can get for the charge that is 
against the, I did read that the most time Aaron can get for the charge that he's being charged with right now is five years. Do you think he'll get jail time? Do you think he'll get custody? Do you think the courts will let him have access to Soraya? And why isn't Nadia Cole arrested? I just don't understand. So tell me what you're thinking. We'll keep up and see what happens with all of this. I'm waiting to see when, how Aaron Ong gets back to Washington. So we'll see. Thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. No one saw Nadia. No one saw for over on the 10th. No. Okay. He noticed this vehicle. They have crossed over into the there's a guy by the name of Martine Sabalis. Yeah. She walked out of the airport that she was at. Now, Nadia 